Number one, new camera, Panasonic GH4 with a speed booster and a like a, a Sony E mount. That is an F 1.2 or something around those lines. The thing is, still, I'm very surprised I was able to get a hold of these things for under two grand. And there's going to be a lot more um, projects I'm going to be doing. And I'm going to I'm just try to get carried away with this. But anyways, number one. A long time ago, I talked about a channel coming up that I was working with. Um, call me Seabass. That's up now. Right here. You can go check it out. The link will be right there. And as you know, I'm now in 4K. And he is going to be in 4K pretty soon. We just acquired a GoPro, and we started working on it. The first video, Crane Climb, absolutely amazing. Um, I'm making it happen. I said that a year ago that it was going to happen. Now it's happening. Everything is still closed down. We're getting back into a state of lockdown. And I'm starting to invest because that's one of the other ways to have an income. So, besides that, not much has changed. I haven't been posting for around yikes, two months, but that's mainly because I have been working with tests, I have 15 credit hours of classes, three classes for college, and I also have around 25 to 36 hours of work, depending on the week, you know, if they need me or not. But I'm starting to venture into new things. I was about to get into Bitcoin mining when I realized it might have been a waste of time, um, just because how long it would take. But number two, I'm going to be starting this channel up again. Um, I have the end of this quarter coming up on the 16th of December. This is probably the most organized I've ever been. And that's the break from 16th of December all the way up to the 4th of January. Now I'm going to be only doing 10, 10 credit hours next uh, quarter because I want to be a little bit smarter with my time. And I'm also going to be working on shooting four videos for Call Me Sea Bass in that time. We're thinking of going on Soylent for a week, which I think would be absolutely fun. Probably not going to do it all together because of COVID, extended time being together, you know. Um, and in that period of time, we will also be receiving 366 masks that we will sell on Amazon. I've started into e-commerce. I've been doing logistics for... Um, CMS retailers for a little bit, and that's a company offshooted from Call Me Sea Bass YouTube channel. So, just more things to work on, and I'm really getting excited about this. But yeah, we ordered it, we split the difference in terms of buying it, and I just cannot wait until they arrive so we can repackage them, send them out to Amazon distribution facilities, and have them sold. That's going to be quite the journey. I'm getting a little nasally here, but the other thing that's going to happen is that while producing these videos, I'm also going to do a car shoot for a friend of mine that we've been talking about this for years. Not years, but at least a year we've been talking about this. I got the GH4, things got a little more real, and therefore, here I am in 4K. I hope. Yeah, we, we good. But, um, it's just a lot of stuff is happening at once, and this is, again, I shot, I shot this part of the video two days after I finished the coffee b-roll part of it. So you really have the, so you really have a kind of a script of what's going on. I started to script my videos not too much, but a little bit. Just to make it easier to speak, I have no script for this one, but I will start scripting mine, not pretty heavily, but at least separating into topics, so I could lay out everything for you and not be completely disorganized like I kind of am now. But we're going to be getting a bunch of things together, starting up that channel. Um, the first video got, the first video green video that I showed early, earlier got 266 views within the first two, three days, and partly because Sebastian's so popular. I gotta say, I'm just excited for being back, and I'd love to let you guys know about 
the another channel has started. <laughs> it feels so ridiculous saying that. Uh, right here, Brew Brothers. We started this as kind of our energy drink slash coffee review channel. Not much is happening because everybody has work and all of that, and I'd love, I'd love for that to continue. It most likely will. It's just that things have been going slowly because I have, um, call me, uh, we have CMS retailers, um, CMS the YouTube channel, but that stuff most likely won't be happening until the 16th when we will start being able to just compile everything together for him because we have about four video ideas. Not going to say what they are so you can stick around to find out, but I gotta say it's about an hour until I, it's about half an hour till I go to work and we're also going to be working on live streams as well. Probably not with this camera. I'm not so sure how we're going to do that, but I'll probably need a capture card. Oh, that's going to be expensive. But anyways, I'm starting to clean up my room. You can't see it now, but I started putting together a few things to make it a little bit easier. And hey, I have two, um, two high-powered LED lights. Reason being is the lighting used to be atrocious in here. You all knew that, and I'm happy that it's somewhat neutral somewhat neutralized now that I can actually have light. So, in other words, I'm back, and I'm so grateful to be doing this again. I'm looking forward to keeping this up with maybe a video every week, because I can do that, um, but finals week is probably going to, you're going to see the lowest quality video ever, because I won't have much time. I'm also working on so many other things with Sebastian and all that. He's also one of the video... Okay, I... Fine. I'll tell you one of the video ideas we had. He's rebuilding a trailer that he purchased recently. A RV. Pretty much. Not a trailer. An R just an RV. And the thing is, he says he has low brake line pressure. He drove it. Because he moved now. He's in relative era area of Federal Way. Because their house was so small and they were paying so much. So he moved to Federal Way, and he decided to go to, I think it was like, Ab not Aberdeen, but Marysville in order to get this thing. And it had low brake pressure. It's like, dude, what are you doing? But anyways, he's restoring it now. I'm going to be working with him on filming that, and it's going to be a little bit of a journey. I'm going on in a little bit of a journey pretty much everywhere now, as you can see. But I'll keep this short and say, I'm back. And I hope you guys stick around for more.